okay dear students uh, let us see what is there in this question now an object released from the height h strikes the ground with the velocity v if the same object is now released from the height of 2h with what velocity will it hit the ground the effects of the air resistance can be neglected so air resistance is now neglected so it's a, a very simple uh, formulation that will be used here uh, from the topic of work energy that is the conservation of energy principle so you see this is the ball and it is now falling the height is h so i can say that all of the energy here that was potential energy gets converted into the complete kinetic energy uh, when the ball reaches the bottom so this will be kinetic energy so i can say that m g h is equal to half m v square so the final velocity reach reached will be given by root of 2 g h so this is the velocity with which the ball is going to hit the ground and um, this same formulation can be um, derived from the from the principles of kinematics also for example uh, if i say v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s and um, i can find the velocity from this also let me show you let us say that u here is zero because it is having only potential energy and kinetic energy is zero there so v square is equal to 2 g h and the distance traveled is h in the downward direction no? so 2 g h and there we go the velocity comes out to be root of 2 g h so same formula is driven by the principle of uh, conservation of energy and the principle of uh, uh, the kinematics or you can say laws of motion so both of these things both of these topics they move parallelly they move parallel to each other the both both of these principles are used to solve the same or the similar questions i would say okay and this is the reason why now so this is the velocity that is root of 2gh and this is case number one and now if i'm talking about the second velocity and now the height is increased to 2h so this two can be separated from root of 2gh which can be later substituted as v1 so our new velocity is now root two times the velocity that was attained in case number one so our answer in this case will be option number two that is root 2v so my dear students is this clear to you or not if there is any more doubt in this please do let me know in the comment section this is professor varun you can join me on discord as well as you can message me on whatsapp all the best